pledge my head to clearer thinking, my heart to greater loyalty, my hands to larger service, and my health to better living, for my club, my community, my country, and my world. Welcome back to Meditative Meals. This is our last video together. Before we start cooking, let's have some tea. For this month, our tea is lavender tea. Lavender is widely used as an aromatherapy agent and supplement to help with anxiety, depression, and fatigue. When you drink lavender tea, it helps soothe muscles and helps you relax. It can also help you sleep better. This month, we are going to be talking about mindfulness techniques. When humans get anxious, it can be hard to calm down and think of the positives. One way we can do this is when we are feeling anxious to take a deep breath and think of our five senses. Sound, sight, touch, taste, and smell. Ask yourself, what are two things you can hear? What are two things you can see? What are two things you are touching currently? And what is one thing you can taste and smell? By doing this, it gives our body time to relax and in doing so, reduces our heart rate, making us feel better. Today we are going to be cooking a full meal. Together we are going to prepare a chicken, make rice, prepare a basic vinaigrette, and finally make a salad. We hope you enjoy our last cooking video. Let's, Let's get, get right, right into, into it. it! Woo! First we preheat our oven to 350 degrees. do today is prep our chicken. To do that we have some newspapers here and we're just gonna line it around our sink because it can get a bit messy. To do this we have our chicken here. You can see there's a lot of liquid inside so you have to be really careful when cutting it open. We're gonna take a knife and really carefully be careful not to break any of the skin on the chicken. Also, just be careful with knives in general. So now we, our next task is to get all the giblets out. So now, I'm gonna pass this chicken over to Nora, <laughs> where she's gonna be seasoning it. And we're just gonna put it right in this pan. Okay, for seasoning we have, you can use whatever seasoning you want. We have lemon pepper seasoning, and we also have garlic powder, and then we have salt and pepper. I'm gonna have Nora pour spices in while I mix them around. Now we're going to dispose of our giblets and that's our oven. And we're holding it up and we're just gonna put it into the trash can. So Nora will do the honors of opening the trash. Good, now this is ready to go into the oven. And we're gonna put it in our oven at 350 for an hour and a half to two hours while checking it. And I'm gonna wash my hands because that's very important. Now we're gonna start to make our rice. This and it's really important when you're making rice um, to wait until your chicken's almost done so you have it ready for dinner at the Our same chicken's time. at 27 minutes right now, so this is a perfect time to start making our rice. So for our rice, we have whole grain brown rice that we're going to be using, and all you need is a saucepan with a tight lid on the top. So we're gonna take that off. First, we're gonna add one cup of rice. two and a half cups of water, which I already measured out, into the saucepan. And the final step we're gonna be doing is we're going to be adding a half teaspoon of salt. And then we're all set to put it on the stove. So let's go over to the stove. Now we've brought our rice to the stove and we're gonna turn our oven on to high. 
And now we're gonna wait for it to boil while watching it. Make sure you watch it. Okay, now uh, that our rice is boiling, we're gonna turn it all the way down to low. Now we're gonna check the rice for in about 35 minutes. We're gonna check it for steam holes or craters with no liquid. Once you can see that all the water, most of the water is absorbed in the rice and only little bubbles are coming up, you can turn off the heat and let it sit for a little bit. And the best timing to wait for this is about 20 minutes while the chicken is finished cooking. While our chicken cooks, we're gonna be making a salad. Okay, so for our salad, we have a cucumber here, a pepper, romaine lettuce, and a carrot. And, and we also have some tomatoes. You can use whatever ingredients you want though. We're gonna, these are our favorites. And we're gonna all put it into our salad bowl. Also, if you touched your chicken before this, please wash your hands. We're re re reiterating that. <laughs> now we have our vegetables. Nora and I both have a plate. Nora, choose your vegetable. Um, I wanna do a cucumber. Fine. <laughs> you choose your vegetable, Claire. You want to go first, obviously. <clears throat> Nora, choose your vegetable. I'll do the pepper. I didn't want to do that one, that's good. Okay, so I will do the carrot, the carrot and the cucumber because the pepper takes a long time. I'll do so the I'm pepper gonna... and the lettuce and the tomatoes. So first off with the cucumber, it's really important that you peel it. With the pepper, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut around the exterior of this, the top, pull off the top and empty any seeds into the compost. Okay, so I just took this part out of it and I'm gonna put it in the compost. Now there are a few seeds in there, so I'm gonna get them out. Just for reference, this is what my pepper looks like. Nora. <laughs> what I do with my lettuce is I break it into parts so that it's easier for people to eat it. Nora oh kindly offered to help me. <laughs> Thank God! Nora kindly offered to help me. Peppers are my favorite vegetable, but I guess they're also a fruit. So I don't know. Yeah, they are. They're the seeds. <laughs> I think the cat thinks it's a fruit too. It's a fruit. Okay. Okay. Fun fact: peppers are fruits. Now that we finished everything in our salad, we're gonna toss it and mix it all in. And then, since we're eating later, we're just gonna put plastic wrap on the top of it and put it in the refrigerator until, and it's all ready to go. And now we're gonna make vinaigrette. teach you guys how to make a simple vinaigrette. This is one of those basic vinaigrettes we're doing. Um, we're gonna do a red wine vinaigrette. So you can do a balsamic vinaigrette that's really simple. Um, basically it's any one part vin vinegar to any three parts of oil. So we're doing, thanks, we're doing red wine vinegar and canola oil and then we're adding a few, <clears throat> we're adding garlic, we're adding dill, but you can really add whatever you have laying around your house. It, ha it's up to you. Um, okay. Now 
gonna grab the canola oil and do three parts of that. to cut garlic like we are um, make sure to cut it very finely because you don't want to just chomp down on a piece of garlic in your salad I'm gonna be adding basil and thyme into our vinaigrette and now we're going to add our clove garlic into, into the our vinaigrette concoction. Now I'm going to screw on the cap of the mason jar so that I can shake it up and mix it. Oh, my mixing dance! Our timer just went off, so we're gonna take the chicken out of the oven and use our meat thermometer to check to see if it's ready. Okay, so this is our meat thermometer. We're gonna wait until it hits 180 and then the chicken will be done. So I'm gonna stick it deep into the breast. Okay. Now this is how we can see if our chicken is done. Our chicken is not done yet, so we're gonna put it back in the oven for another 10 minutes. <laughs> it's been 10 minutes and we're gonna, oops. We're gonna check the chicken again. So we're gonna do the same thing that we did last time. Turn off the oven, and we're gonna let the chicken set for 10 minutes or so. We'll see you in a second for the final result. Yeah. This is really good. Cheers. Cheers. It's really good. Mmm. Three, two, one. Now that we're done cooking, let's reflect on what we've learned. Please write in your journal something new you learned or anything else you want to get off of your chest. Please send your photos of your food to Robin. Since this is our last cooking video, we would like to thank you for participating in our New Hampshire Sullivan County Youth Leadership Project. We hope you learned something about cooking and ways to stay stress-free. We wanted to give something back to you guys for following along with the recipes and completing our questions. So along with the recipe kits, we have also provided seed packets and a planning kit to grow your own re relaxing lavender garden. Thank you once again for participating in our project and, and please, please give us feedback on what you thought of meditative meals. meals. Thank Bye. you guys so much. Bye! It was <laughs>